So my plan over here is to give you guys uh, a brief overview of what to expect on the final exam, the format, the problems, and some uh, questions that you should absolutely expect on the final exam. The date of the final exam is scheduled by the registrar to be Wednesday, December 16th. The final exam is going to be available on Gradescope starting from December 16th midnight, 12 a.m. Eastern Time, all the way to December 16th, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Exactly the same way as the previous two exams have been available during the entire day. Now the exam itself is going to be three hours long and this includes the scanning and uploading time. However, to get the full three hours, you would need to start the exam before 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After you submit, please make sure that you go back and check your submission. That responsibility falls on each student to make sure that the, their submission was saved and submitted correctly. What is allowed during the exam? It's an open book, open notes exam, just as the previous ones. You can use all your resources on Piazza. You can use a calculator. You can use writing supplies. What is not allowed during the exam is anybody discussing anything related to the final exam with anyone except for me. And if during the exam, if you have any question, you can email me at my email address provided over here. And I, the response, I, you know, of course, I'm not going to be monitoring my uh, inbox for the full 24 hours, uh, but I can give you a window of time in which you can expect an immediate response, which is 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My response at other times might not be immediate. And I want to emphasize on this particular point, what is not allowed during the exam. Uh, you know, there have been uh, some issues about, uh, you know, plagiarism on exams already in the semester and the students have been penalized for that. Uh, so I hope you guys are uh, careful. Um, it, it is, uh, you know, uh, it is straightforward for me to, to understand, you know, where something questionable has happened. So I want you guys to be uh, a little bit more mindful of that. Before I go on to topics, in terms of logistics, are there any questions for the final exam? Well, um, the question uh, in the chat box is, will it be hard? Uh, and again, you know, is it easy or is it hard is kind of a, uh, you know, a subjective question, right? Like it depends on uh, who is answering what. Um, something that might appear, appear very simple for you might not appear the same way to others. So it, it's very difficult to answer that question. I can tell you this, I am going to have a mix of uh, questions, right? That, that uh, cover a wide variety. Yeah, I, I'm going to talk about that uh, in just a minute when I talk about uh, the format of the exam. Uh, questions regarding logistics. All right, I'll move on. Uh, so the, the, the final exam is comprehensive, uh, as it was mentioned in the syllabus uh, at the start of the semester. So you should expect some questions on number systems in which we talked about how to represent numbers in sign magnitude, two's complement, how do we do signed arithmetic, unsigned arithmetic. Those kind of questions uh, are going to be uh, there on the final exam. We then moved on to talking about digital circuits where we looked at how to uh, construct logic functions using uh, MOS transistors. We looked at the concept of noise margin and the concept of fan in and fan out limitations for logic gates. We then moved on to uh, Boolean algebra where we looked at uh, theorems, uh, Boolean algebra laws, De Morgan's laws, um, and then we looked at logic minimization 
using kmaps. After that, we looked at some combinational circuits. We started with the programmable logic device, decoders, encoders, tri-state devices, multiplexer, demultiplexers, and we had parity circuits, comparators, and adders as well. We then moved on to sequential circuits. Uh, we started off with talking about a bistable element used for storing a zero or a one and the concept of metastability. We looked at different latches, flip-flops, and then we, we had sort of a hierarchy built up, right? We, we designed a latch. We started off with the uh, NOR-based latch, and then we add, kept on adding functionality to it. Uh, we got it down to a, a D latch, we started then designing flip-flops using latches, then we started designing registers with flip-flops, and then also counters with flip-flops. Um, I'm going to highlight something that you should absolutely expect on the final exam, which is conversion between different flip-flops. Um, so this is a, a, a very uh, important topic, and uh, the back exam that I have posted on Piazza has a very interesting question on this. Uh, so uh, see if you are able to answer that question. Uh, and I've also posted the solutions uh, for you to check your work. But conversions uh, between different flip-flops. Uh, some flip-flops might be standard. For example, the JK flip-flop, JK flip-flop, or the toggle flip-flop, or the D flip-flop. But in but I can also have like a made up flip flop like we did in, in, in the in the lecture. We made up a flip flop and then we went uh, uh, about the conversion. Uh, the other thing that is also very uh, uh, important and you should expect this is to build counters with arbitrary counting sequences. Uh, so you definitely need to uh, the return of struggle, yes. Um, so conversions between flip-flops is going to be there on the final exam. Counters with an arbitrary counting sequence is going to be there on the final exam. Um, let's see. After that, we moved into finite state machine concepts. Over here, we looked at two different types of machines, Mealy and Moore machine. Uh, and, you know, if I classify the types of problems that we did for finite state machine, we did them, uh, we did two types, right? One was analysis. And you should expect a question here. Uh, analysis is, you give me the finite state machine and I will reverse engineer it to give you the uh, state diagram, for example. So I'll tell you what it does. You just give me the circuit. That's your analysis. That's a reverse engineering. We did uh, some examples on that. The other is the design of finite state machine. So you tell me what it should do, and I will, at the end, give you a circuit that does that, right? So both these questions, uh, one each, you should expect on the final exam. One in which a finite state machine will be given to you, and you will need to analyze it and one in which you will be given some description about the finite state machine and you will need to design it. Uh, the design problems will be open-ended, uh, so there might be uh, many correct answers, so be aware of that. Next, that was our uh, last topic on memory. Uh, we, have, we talked about the non-volatile memory in which we looked at the ROM, uh, diode-based ROM, NOR and NAND structure, and we also looked at the volatile memory uh, in static RAM and dynamic RAM. Uh, so very simple questions over here. And that wraps up the content. So, you know, I've given you hints about four, you know, questions that are sort of major questions that you should absolutely expect on the exam. Uh, so I hope you guys take advantage of that. All right, let's move on here to the format of the exam. Now, 
uh, there are going to be essentially two sections. One is short answer and the other is free response questions. In terms of short answer questions, uh, these are going to be uh, multiple choice or multiple answer questions and you should expect about eight. Uh, I might go up or down depending on uh, how much uh, time I think they will take. My goal is going to be to uh, make sure that you spend maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes, no more than that on short answer questions. So I might adjust the number at the end, but you should expect uh, eight questions that are of uh, multiple choice or multiple answer type in which you essentially select the options. You don't need to show work for this. Uh, following that, you will have free response questions about, again, about eight of them. Um, and I suppose you already know four of them, right? Um, you, you already have that information. Uh, so you should expect about four others and some may have some uh, sub questions. And I'm going to expect that all the other remaining uh, two hour uh, or more than just more than two hours time will be used up for that free response questions. All right, so that that is uh, all I have for you guys in terms of final exam review. Uh,